Don't be afraid, Henry. I'm not here to hurt you. I have a message for you. You're born with special powers, which you'll be called on for a very special mission. Hi. You okay? Yeah. We're having a nightmare. Can I, uh, will you get me some water? Yeah. Please? Yeah. Thanks. I got it. What the hell was that? You okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Do you want to tell me what your dream was about? Come on, you know it always helps when you tell me. I don't know where to begin. <clears throat> Henry! Kelsey! Are you guys okay? Yeah, come in. We heard voices and oh, just a lot of yelling. We wanted to check. Yeah, Henry just had a nightmare, but he won't tell me about it. You okay, son? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, Dad. I'm just a little stressed out with work and, and my training. You want to tell us about it? No, it's... no. Are you sure? Mom, you worry too much. I'm fine, okay? Trust me. Okay. Well, we'll just leave you guys to get some rest. Night. Night. Don't you think Henry works too hard? I think that job is too much for him. I think you worry too much. I mean, he's a young guy. He needs the challenge. And I think he's going to be okay. I wonder how much sleep he's going to get with Kelsey in his bed. Don't you think we should tell him? Tell him what? This whole thing is ridiculous. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Look, when I was a young guy, I had a lot of stress too. I mean, strange things happened. I didn't get much sleep. You know, our son's just starting his life. Well, Kelsey said he had a nightmare, and that's the third one he had this week. I think that they're connected to who he really is. I mean, what if the story's true? Look, Bob was a good friend. He was like a best friend. I mean, he was like a brother. But truth be told, before he died, he started losing his mind, saying all kinds of weird things. This story is nonsense, and it doesn't exist. Well, I think there's something deeper going on here, and I don't know why you just brush the situation off. I mean, we're the ones who found him. Oh my God. What? You're worried about your name. The Thomas name. And Henry's the son you never had. Would you be afraid to lose him? Honey. Honey, please. Tell let's me, just... Tell me it's not true. Let's just go to bed. Organs were ripped out, a heart, and the stomach and intestines were ripped out. That's awful. Oh my god, who, who does that kind of stuff? That's like the second one. Do they have any leads? Do you recognize that name? No. Okay. Okay, well, I 
gotta go. Honey, you're dressed for work? Yeah, I'll see you. Can you take the day off? I love you. Henry, come on, have a seat. Sit down. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Good, good. Well, um, um, you know what, here at Assetech, we have a long history with uh, servicing our clients in the military and developing uh, technologies for them. So I've brought you in here today to tell you that not only have you done a good job, um, that we're going to need you to do even a better job. You, uh, you're going to be receiving something that very few people here at Astatech uh, get on a regular basis. We're promoting you to project manager. <laughs> wow, that's... Congratulations, Henry. Thank you, that, that's, that's great. That's a big deal. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Well, I mean, I don't want you to get too excited, okay? I mean, this is gonna be double the workload that you're con currently ha you know, having to take on right now. Not a problem, I, I can do it. Um, this is a great opportunity. Well, we're, we're counting on you. I know you can do it. I mean, congratulations. Thank you. I, I won't let you down, sir. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. Hey, Tara, soon I did. Ari. Oh, Ari. Ah, I'm with Tara, soon I did. Eddie, you know, What happened? I don't know. I just passed out at work. Tell me. I was just, I was sitting there and then... I was right, wasn't I? You should have taken the day off. How are you doing, Henry? I'm doing fine. I ran every test. Henry is fine. I definitely recommend getting some rest, though. Thank you, doctor. At least someone's backing me up. So I want to be clear. Hold on. You ran every possible test. We have done every check that we can do here. We've done all the blood work, and nothing is showing up. And you're feeling fine? I'm fine, Dad. I'm fine. You okay? Sure. What is going on? Something happened. Something is happening that I can't explain. What happened? You can tell me anything. You're still my little boy. I didn't want to worry you. I had a really strange encounter in my dream a few days ago. I, I, someone or something, he said that I was the chosen one. It felt so real. He said that I have a power, and that it was time for me to take my place. I just, the, the weird thing is, is that I saw the exact same guy right before I passed out at work. Shut up. What? Oh my God. It can't be true. Mom, what can't be true? Uh, nothing, dear. I, I'm just thinking that it isn't possible. I think you're just really tired, Henry, and you need to get some rest. We've actually just finished working for the automation system. So we're in the testing phase right now. But it's actually based on a very complex theorem that I've been able to create on my own. Henry, and, um, yes, um, there's someone for you. Take a message. I'm, I'm in the middle. Um, it's the police. If you gentlemen will excuse me for just one brief moment. Detective? Henry Thomas. Yes, I'm in the middle of a meeting, which... Henry, uh... I'm real sorry to be the one to tell you this, but it's about your parents. Something 
terrible has happened and we don't know how to explain it. Well, what happened? Are my parents okay? Well, your your mother, Miss Thomas, she was she was very lucky that we got there in time. Someone apparently heard noises and called 911. Otherwise, the worst could have happened. What about my father? Henry, your your, your father's injuries were were so critical that he passed away on the way to the hospital. Look, I'm sorry. We did everything. I know this is a is a really difficult time for you right now, but do you have any idea of anybody who could have done this to your parents? I'm I'm sorry, Detective. Um, what's your name again? Jack. Uh, I don't mind answering any of your questions, but for now, I'm gonna go see my mom. Henry, just please take my card. Give me a call. Okay.